Hey there, it's Jamie Anderson and in this lesson video I am going to teach you about improving your rhythm when you're strumming. Just now I was doing a very simple strum with a metronome. A metronome is a really great way to improve your strumming so I'll be using that throughout this video. I was just doing a G chord and I was just strumming straight down. So I'm not doing it with the metronome right now. Just imagine a really even walk down a street or a march. That's the kind of rhythm you want to achieve. Now I'm going to turn on my metronome and let's see, I'm going to put it on 54. So that's 54 beats per minute. And I'm going to do a strum every time I hear that click. Ready and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Can you hear how I'm right on top of that beat? Now I'm going to speed it up and do the same thing, trying to stay right on top of the beat. And, uh, Boy, I can't see the numbers on my metronome. There, I think this is 84. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. So staying right on top of the beat. It's kind of like a march. Once you're feeling pretty confident, then speed it up again. And <clears throat> what is this? This is 120. One, two, ready, and. That's a good way to get started with just a simple strum. Uh, most metronomes also have a light, or you may have the old-fashioned kind that has the, uh, the needle goes back and forth, and you may have better luck watching the light or watching the needle. I prefer to listen to the beat rather than watch it, but you know, your mileage may vary. So, once you've gotten comfortable with a straight down strum, then see if you can add an upstroke. So, an upstroke would be down, down, up, down, down, up. Well, that includes an upstroke. Down, down, up, down, down. So I've got the metronome on 54. Ready, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, So you could, could you hear all those downstrokes happen right when that click happens. The upstrokes happen between the clicks. So as long as you're playing it nice and steady, you should be okay. So once that feels comfortable, then pump it up a little bit. And boy, maybe I need a new metronome. Okay, <laughs> so now I'm put it on 92. Now I'm just choosing these numbers at random. You can choose any numbers you want when you're practicing. So now I'm going to do down, down, up, down, down, up to this beat. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down. that was too fast or if you choose a speed on your own that is too fast then turn the tempo down you want to master a slow speed first before you crank it up and sometimes it does take some practice especially if you haven't been playing very long so there you go there are some ways to improve your strumming timing thanks for tuning in be sure to buy me a coffee coffee.com I'll put uh, the link somewhere here and subscribe you don't want to miss any of my lessons I have over 400 for intermediate and beginning guitar players also lessons for ukulele and mandolin thanks